So I think we're gonna have water coming out this way, two big boulders on the side. And next stop, we're gonna have our last uh, waterfalls in here with uh, our biofalls. I'm hoping to be done on Tuesday. Um, sometimes, you know, it takes a little longer than you always think it will, it will be, but I'm pushing for Tuesday. for the um, our jet systems uh, manifold uh, as you can see here uh, the way that we do it is we come through the liner instead of top of the liner uh, it's a little more uh, it looks better this way it's a little more complex a little more material but that's the right way to do it so as you can see this is uh, the outside of our liner we install some bulkhead fittings uh, each of this line is represents one uh, each of uh, three jets that we have in the pond here so this one's gonna be hooked up here and as you can see they come through the other side as well so and from here they get two go this way and another one go all the way to that corner right there uh, this is one of our jets uh, we have this area here uh, that is kind of like a dead area so we need some circulation here we don't want anything to accumulate in here so this jet is what it's gonna do is it's gonna push all the debris this way and the rest of the current is gonna take care of it. the pond we have enough elevation here to have just uh, the liner on top to go over the the pond liner so what we're gonna do is just gonna bring this liner over here tuck that in here and then we'll backfill this is where I'm thinking we can have the other waterfall try to angle this one right uh, straight to the our patio over here we got these two boulders in here they're really cool. I'll leave them uh, a laugh because as you can see, this is a really cool boulder. It has like a higher side and a lower side. So this is perfect for water to just run over here. And we can just bring another boulder, top there right here, and then you have your waterfall. Over there is our frame, our frame boulder, and uh, also it's a spillway boulder. But it was a little, too, it was sitting a little too high. So the wonder of, you know, the good thing about working with liner is that you can just pull it back, dig it in, and just uh, put it back, and now you will have the right height for the boulder once we're done with it.
last day, apparently. We'll find out, you know. He said he was gonna be done yesterday. It's now Wednesday. But we're gonna go see the results of what we've done on Marshall's job uh, for, uh, for the project out here in Falcon. What's fun about these pond projects is you don't know what they're gonna look like until it's done. You know, you kind of start with a loose spray paint of the area that's gonna go, the rocks get dropped off, you get to just start getting, you get to just start being creative. Yeah, so we've got the main fall coming down here, but then he tucked in a little piece of piping that's getting, getting the water from the pooling area over here and daylighted over here. So we have like this little extra little spring, just a hidden waterfall that's coming out. And you just kind of look at it, and if you didn't know how it was built, you're just wondering where did it even come from? Uh, I was talking to the homeowner, and uh, he's pretty excited about it, so. Um... I guess uh, plants is gonna be phase two. Just doing some uh, clean up, um, and I guess we're gonna be out of here for the next one. Uh, we got another uh, landscaping to start, hopefully tomorrow. Mm -hmm.